What's up everyone, it is Andrew here and we are checking out the brand new stainless steel band for Apple Watch from Nomad. So this is their stainless steel version which is very similar to their titanium version. It is very durable and rust resistant. They did release a titanium version though it is a bit pricier and has a lighter weight. Though for us we kind of dig the heavier weight here of the stainless steel. So we are happy to pay $80 less for a heavier band. There's minimal branding on the band with just a simple Nomad logo inscribed on the outside of the clasp. Other than that, it is a very handsome matte finish. It is a fairly rigid band, not a lot of movement in between the links themselves. It is very comfortable. We wish the buckle was a little bit slimmer. If we're on our computers a lot and you don't have any proper kind of wrist support there, it can dig in a little bit to your wrist, but that's definitely on a personal basis, uh, individual basis. It may not inflict you as much as it kind of inflicts us, but it's going to be like that with any clasp worn band. The tool to remove the links is very easy to use and we're glad they include this in the box. It's a lot smaller than the original one they include with titanium models. So this is an updated version, it's much more compact, still very easy to use to change out the links without having to take this to a jewelry shop or a watch kiosk or anything like that. You simply slide in the band, tighten this up, it's going to push the pin out the other side. You can then use your fingers just to pull the pin free, remove the additional necessary links, go ahead and put them back together and then slide the pin back into place. It only took a few moments for us to change these out. You do have to make sure you pay attention to what you're doing. You don't want to scratch your band in any way. You want to make sure that this tool is actually lining up with the pinhole on the side of the watch band. And additionally, you want to make sure you're going the right direction. These do have a direction to them. On the underside of the band, there is a little arrow telling you which way to push the pin out. Basically, there's one end that's rounded and one end that has a bit of a line in the center because it flays out a little bit to add a little bit of tension. So make sure you're pushing it out that way, the corresponding way that the band tells you to so you don't jam something up or you're just going to be kind of pushing it in way too hard and hurting your band, maybe adding some unnecessary scratches. We have fairly average size wrists and in our case, we removed two links from each side. So a total of four we removed once we took them out we put the pin back into place you can see it sticks out a little bit at the end you cannot push that in with your fingers it is far too difficult so find a hard surface to press everything in then save these if you want to save them otherwise you're good to go it is really hard to find a solid alternative to apple's own link bands they are very expensive and we are really excited to see nomad bring their offerings both the titanium and the stainless steel versions they are a bit wonky to put on you cannot simply slide one end on than the other because of their rigidness you have to put them on at the same time put in the top and the sides just a little bit and then slide them over together. Makes it very easy to put on, but something you need to be aware of when picking up one of these bands. There are differences between this band and Apple's own. First up, Apple allows you to remove each individual link simply by pressing a button on the back of the band. There's a lot of additional engineering going into that and it's not something that's really necessary for something that you're going to do one or two times maybe in the lifetime of a watch band. It is a nice to have feature, but we really like the much lower cost of the Nomad options instead of having that built in. You also may notice that in between the bands, especially as we rotate our wrist, there's a little bit of silver showing through. That's just the underside or the inside of the band kind of showing, and that's not the case with Apple's. Apple has each individual part covered in their DLC, which really gives it a complete black finish. So it's a minor difference, but for those who have a really keen eye for detail and want the absolute best watch band, may need to go for Apple's, but they're going to have to pay a huge cost. This is several hundred dollars less than Apple's own option, and we think it looks pretty fantastic. Feels great, and the new stainless steel version holds up much better than we found the original titanium version. They've since introduced new coatings on both of them that far extends their durability. If you want to grab any of these bands, you can find the links down below in the description, and I'd love to hear what you think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU.